In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at writing some tests, some initial, initial tests for our little greeting class. And we're going to use JUnit to do that with. Now, I do want to point out one thing here. Last time I had you working on the master branch. Now, I did go in, I'm going to bring this up, and, and you can see that I have a couple branches set up. And this is how my workflow is I started off a master, that is an empty project. And then I showed you how to set it up in Maven, and I did a Maven setup branch. So now you have that, that ability there to go and look at that branch. So if you're following along, check out the master and then go through each step of the way. And now you're going to have branches that you can compare your source code with. So you don't necessarily have to follow my branching strategy, but I'm going to have these as beginning and ending source links inside the course. In the course resources, you'll have those links. So you can see now I'm on, uh, let me click out of this. You can see down there I'm on Hello World Test. That is going to be the ending branch for this. So I'll commit against that branch. And then the next lesson, I'll start working on a different branch. So that, that's how I do my workflow. But inside the course, as you're following along, you're going to have the resources to check out and, and compare against the different branches inside the GitHub repository. So let's go ahead and create a test for this. So I'm going to come up here and I just clicked on the class and I can do option enter. And you can see that this brings up a dialogue. And I'm going to say create test. So we get a JUnit 5. And it says greeting test. It's going to do a destination package. Uh, just guru.spring framework. Exactly what I want. And we want to do these two methods. So let's go ahead and uh, say OK to that. Now we get the two tests. And one thing I like to do is I like to come up here and say sp split horizontally. So now it's... This gives me two windows. I'm going to close this top one. So now I have the class I'm testing above. And I'll, I'll go back and forth. I'll, I'll put one on top and one on the bottom, depending on the day. And you don't have to follow me exactly. But I find it helpful to see the code that I'm testing and writing the test at the same time, if you have the screen real estate to do that. So just a, a little tip from me. So now let's go ahead and write our test, hello world. And let's point out something here as far as the user, user interface inside of IntelliJ. Uh, each test method has an arrow next to it, so I can just say run test there. And you can see IntelliJ is going and building it in the background, runs the test, that runs fine. And then you can see also up here, I got another icon at the class level. And I can run that. And look at that, I got a misspelling in there. So let's uh, change this, rename to. Uh, greeting. A little on the fly refactoring. Like so. And let's also do you. Change that typo there. So re reflecting an actual greeting, not a grading. So a little, little typo, so we get that fixed. Now let's go ahead and write some tests here. So we can say greeting equals new. Greeting like so. And then I'm going to grab this here for the second test. We'll implement him. And actually, that was almost a mistake. I'll say hello world. And I'm just typing S out. And that when you hit enter, that expands out. Now I can say greeting. I'm just going to say hi to myself. So now the first one, if I run that, I'm just going to run hello world. So we can see that I got that output. And let's run this one. And at, at this point in time, these tests are going to be forever green. We're not doing any assertions at this point in time. We're just running tests. So as long as these don't throw in an unexpected exception, they'll be okay. So and that will be... Should be good. Let's see. I'm not sure uh, what will happen here if I change this to null. Might get me to throw an MPE. Oh, you can concatenate a null value. So I wasn't sure on that one. So let's go ahead and undo that. So I'm going to run these together one last time. And we'll be able to see the outputs of both. So we got hello world, hello John. And that's when I'm running at the test level. And this is from inside of IntelliJ. And I do want to point out, 
if you're using Eclipse at, or IntelliJ Community, IntelliJ Community should have this functionality in it, and Eclipse has very similar functionality.